what is affiliate marketing exactly and what is CPA affiliate marketing and which one of these is best and which one can you use to make the most amount of profit. That's what we're gonna get into in today's video. Hopefully by the end of this video, you'll understand how to make a part-time or full-time income in affiliate marketing, whether it's regular affiliate marketing or CPA affiliate marketing. We're also gonna show you the different networks that you can sign up for, and you can do that today if you want. And then we're also gonna show you different types of traffic that you can use to get people to your affiliate link and start making an income today. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So first let's talk about traditional affiliate marketing. Now what affiliate marketing is, is businesses, when they create a product, whether it's a physical or digital product, they focus a lot on product creation. They wanna make the best product for their customers. They want people to really enjoy these products. They wanna focus on customer service, all of these aspects of a business. Now the thing that they don't necessarily always wanna focus on is the marketing aspect. The reason is, is because they know there's people out there who can market a lot better than they can, and they, maybe they don't want to have a full advertising team and pay thousands or millions of dollars to get an entire group together and do some sort of advertising campaign that may or may not even work. With affiliate marketing, they know these guys can go out there and they can bring traffic to their products and they can convert this traffic into customers. So that's why they offer what's called a commission. They'll give you a 20% or 30% or whatever percent commission if you can bring someone to your what's called affiliate link. They give you an affiliate link and if you can bring someone to that link and they end up buying with that link, then you get a commission. And it's a win-win for everyone involved. It's a win for the business because they can get more traffic when they create an affiliate program they can have affiliates going out and getting traffic any which way that they want. And so they get a lot more business that way. So they end up making a lot more money. You as the affiliate, you don't have to worry about customer service. You don't have to worry about shipping. You don't have to worry about any of these things. All you need to focus on is just bringing people to that link. So it's a win for you. And then it's also a win for the customer. The customer doesn't have to pay any extra money and all they are getting is value from you as the affiliate. If you are an affiliate marketer and you're doing your job right, you're gonna be putting out content out there that will help the buyer make an informed decision. Let's say you have a blog and you do a review of a bunch of different options. Well, the customer will read all of this and decide for themselves which one they like best. They'll click on the one that they like and you as an affiliate will make a commission. So that is how traditional affiliate marketing works. Now CPA affiliate marketing in its most basic sense, now there's a lot of different interpretations of technically what CPA means. There's cost per action, cost per acquisition. When it comes to affiliate marketing, when people generally use CPA, what they're referring to is not necessarily getting a sale, but getting some sort of action. Now this can be anything from putting in a phone number, to putting in an email, to signing up for a free account, for putting in a survey, filling out a survey, anything that doesn't necessarily require the customer to take out a credit card and pay for anything. It is essentially just paying you as an affiliate for a lead. And businesses will do this because they know how much money each lead is. For every single person that puts in an email address, they have a metric which will determine how much money they will get out of that person. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that that person will end up buying, but overall, as an aggregate, they can make a statistical analysis of what the cost is per lead. So that's kind of the idea of CPA marketing, is they are paying you just to get an email, to get any sort of lead into their business. Now let's get into the different programs that you can do. Now there's a few programs that you can sign up for. You could sign up for these today, and they are CPA networks. There's Peerfly, there's Clickbooth. I think the most popular one, probably the one that's the easiest for you to sign up for is Max Bounty. Uh, Max Bounty, you could sign up right away. The only thing that you're gonna need to do with Max Bounty is you are going to have to have a quote unquote interview with someone that person will reach out to you, that person will call you, they just wanna make sure that you're a real person. As you can imagine, this is a problem. There's a lot of spammers out there who are taking these links and they're just putting them everywhere, saying free, win a free trip, win a free this, win re free Red Bull, win a free, you know, everything is free and, and he's tr they're just trying to get people to click on this link because if they can get people to click on the link for something that's free, they're gonna make money from that. And so these programs, they wanna make sure that you have a legitimate business, that you are a legitimate business owner and that you are not gonna try to spam out their affiliate links to everyone. So now that you know 
what CPA marketing is, and how to sign up for a program. Now we wanna talk about traffic. Now, there's two types of main traffic. There's organic traffic and paid traffic. Now, organic traffic is gonna be anything that people can look up on the search engine, so anything like blogging or YouTube or podcasting, if you're doing any of these types of content marketing, and let's say you have a, a blog about travel and you're talking about a specific country and you use a Max Downey offer, offering a free trip to Bora Bora, well, you can put that in the blog when you're talking about it. You're saying, hey, if you like Bora Bora and you actually wanna win a free trip, they're actually doing a three month offer and you can sign up right away to try to win a free trip. So you can offer this to your audience as you are building them up on your blog or your YouTube or whatever. And the other type of organic traffic is through social media. So you can do this through Instagram or Facebook. Let's say you have an Instagram following or let's say you don't have an Instagram following but you wanna do a post and you do a bunch of hashtags that will get traffic. Well, now you can put your affiliate link in your bio and if people click on that, you will get the commission. Now the most popular method of CPA affiliate marketing is through paid advertising. So you can use paid advertising on stuff like TikTok, Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook. These are popular paid advertisements that people use. And the thing about paid advertisement and why it's so popular with CPA affiliate marketing is because, because these offers are so free, they tend to get a lot more conversions. People are more likely to put in an email than they are to click and actually buy something. So the cost for you is actually a lot cheaper than it normally would be if you have the right offer. Now, the one downside to paid advertising is because of the spammers out there who are just shooting out Facebook ads and they just want to get people to that link. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, they really do not like direct affiliate links. They don't want people sent to an affiliate link. They will allow you to send people to a landing page, which is basically a page that is your own. It's a website that people can go to and from that website, they can click on a button which will take them from there to an affiliate link. This is known as a bridge page. And you, there's a lot of different landing page softwares out there that you can use. You can use ClickFunnels, you could use Mintbird, you could use uh, lead pages, there's a lot of them. And if you don't have money for a landing page software, well, what you can do is you can actually use free ones. Now there's free ones that they offer with email marketing software. So for example, Active Campaign or ConvertKit, those offer landing pages and for a certain amount of users, you can actually use that software completely for free. So let's say with ConvertKit, I think it's something like 2000 users. So if you don't have 2000 people on your email list, you can use that completely for free and you can use their landing pages completely for free. So you can use that as a landing page and you can shoot people from Facebook advertisements to that landing page and from there they can either put in their email and go to the affiliate link and you can follow up with them on email or you could just have a basic bridge page and people can click on it. Another option would be to use something like Linktree. Linktree is technically a free landing page. It's basically an in-between page where you can say something on your Linktree like, how did you find out about us? Facebook, Instagram, this, that. That will work as well. But if I'm being honest, I generally don't use CPA offers. The reason being is, yes, they do have high conversions. It is a very good offer. People just need to put in an email and you get a commission, but they tend to be very low commissions. And I have found that overall, I will make a lot more money doing high ticket affiliate programs. These are programs that are for each sale, but the sales are very, very high. So you as a affiliate are getting 500, 1,000 plus dollars per sale, which is a lot of money. So that is the route that I have chosen to take. I'm a part of a lot of high ticket affiliate marketing programs, and that's where I have found the most success, as opposed to CPA, which seems in theory like it has a lot of success and people do find a lot of success with it. But personally, I sign up for high ticket affiliate programs. A couple that I will talk about right now that I have signed up for, uh, one is Mintbird. Mintbird is a sales funnel software program and you can just sign up and you will take a two hour 
intro course, which will teach you everything you need to know about becoming an affiliate marketer for Mintbird. And from there, you'll have access to a 10 plus hour course on high ticket affiliate marketing, where you can learn everything you need to know about becoming a high ticket affiliate marketing, not just for Mintbird, but for any other programs in the future that you wanna sign up with. Well, they also give you the email slides, the Facebook posts, the Instagram posts, everything you need, it's, it's all right there. So I find that to be a very good program because even though it's not CPA, it's high ticket, and when they're giving you everything that you need that they already know that converts, it makes your job a lot easier as an affiliate. The other one I'll talk about is ClickFunnels. Now ClickFunnels has for the longest time been the best sales funnel software out there. And Russell Brunson, who's the owner of ClickFunnels, he's the most passionate entrepreneur that I've ever met in my entire life. So he is going to be very, very helpful, and he's also going to give you the slides and the Facebook posts and the Instagram posts, everything you need to be successful as an affiliate. And if you want to learn a a little bit further you can also take they have this thir free 30-day challenge which basically you can just look at other people's funnels with click funnels and you can see how they are making money with click funnels and you can do the same thing but use actually click funnels as your offer and you can find success with that now i want to make it clear that a lot of people do find success with cpa and you still can find success with cpa i personally just chose the route of high ticket affiliate marketing and i went with that but you will find success if you know what you are doing and with that said hopefully you enjoyed this video and i will see you on the next one